I'm now joined by the chief pilot here at the Advanced Cockpit Flight Training Centre, Trent Robinson. How are you, sir? Good, Aaron. How are you going? I'm good. Thanks for inviting us up. Now, Pleasure. What are we actually doing today? Well, today, Advanced Cockpit Flight Training is holding a public open day. The concept is really just to get people involved in aviation, expose them to the airport. No one really knows that Janicott's here. People haven't heard of it before. Show them what Learn to Fly is all about and to just show them some great aeroplanes out on this way. Now, I've known you for a few years and I actually used to be a bit scared of flying. Absolutely. But you helped me, well, I was a lot scared of flying, but you helped me overcome that by actually, I suppose, teaching me what flight was about. Yeah, well, that's one of the benefits we can do on a day like today is do a trial introductory flight. Give them a chance to talk about it, get their hands on the controls and to just go and experience flying on a beautiful day like today and, and just get a bit more understanding of what's going on. They realise it's actually extremely safe. Now, it is a beautiful day out there, so I'm it hoping is. that I might be able to nudge you for a flight maybe later. Put a few strings, I think we can sort that out for you. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, nice old planes around, a little bit of histories out there, so days like this is really about letting people experience any form of plane, isn't it? Well, that's right. We've got our basic training aircraft, just like the one we've got behind us here. New, up-to-date glass cockpit technology. Then we've got some of the older, uh, what we call steam-driven or analog aircraft, which are still very commonly used. And then you've got the uh, Air Force PC-9 trainer, basically from the beginning, all different pathways, and of course, up into the airlines, which is where some of our graduates will go as well. So we've got a nice cross-section here of old and new. Okay. Now, some of the courses that you offer here, just talk us through them. Yeah, well, we'll teach everything from recreational training for private pilot's license right through to the commercial training. So we can get you started. You'll be flying an uh, aircraft all by yourself after about 12 hours of flying, right through the private license to about 50 to 70 hours, and then a commercial license, which you need to actually get employed as a pilot, around 150 hours. Now, you must get told all the time that your job is amazing. You get to just take people out there and teach them how to fly. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a very rewarding job um, to you know take someone like yourself who starts off just terrified and then get rid of that and then there you are out there flying all by yourself. There's nothing like that. It's a fantastic feeling. I don't know if I would have used the word terrified. I was just a little bit cautious. That's right. That's... <laughs> well, mate, how about you go and see if you can pull some strings and get us up there in the clouds. What do you reckon? Absolutely. OK, Aaron, that's us. So what we're going to do is move out onto the runway. You can grab onto the control column now. OK. Right hand on the throttle. Yep. Left hand on the control column. Wait. Swap hands, right hand there. there yep. That's it. Nice and smooth all the way forward. OK, let's go. Yep. You're flying. There we go. OK, let's punch it. Yep. Woo! Pull out. Am I all the way up? Yep, you're all the way. We're all the way up, Speed's Captain. Speed's good. Airspeed's increasing. Power's good. We're okay. safe to take off. Just gently ease back on the nose. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> you're airborne. Oh, that was me. Fantastic. I did that. OK. So as, as we're going up, I can actually feel the different currents of wind as well. Yeah, there's a little bit of slightly different uh, parcels of air, there's slightly different air pressure, and that's what we experience as turbulence. All right, so here we go, we're 500 feet, now 600 feet, so we can turn left. Look at that beautiful view of the city and the river. Oh, that is spectacular. I can tell you, this is a surreal feeling, actually flying in a plane. All right, now what we can do is use the trim, and that's going to hold the elevator uh, at the back of the aircraft, just to take that load, and then you won't need to fly very much at all. Now, like, like most people at home, they would, uh, obviously when you fly all the time with commercial jets like I do, or a little bumps like this uh, are something you wouldn't really feel, um, but you really, <laughs> you find them a little bit more, but yeah, you, you certainly uh, have a lot more sensation in these aircraft. Um, that's, that's why they're called light aircraft, they're not as heavy, so you do feel a little bit, but you soon come to understand what's going on. Okay, Aaron, Aaron see the runway? So we're going to come around, on to final. Look at that turn. Runway straight ahead. See how quick it is to pick up? Yep. Alright, it's going to take a bit of that load off the stick, that's the trim at the back there for us. Bravo, bravo. Alright, let's land this thing. I'm landing it, mate, it's going to be... <laughs> And touchdown, how was that, Captain? <laughs> 10 out of 10, mate, that was, well done. That was pretty good. Congrats. Thank you very much.